Welcome to Saint of the Day. Today is November 15th and today's saint is Saint Leopold of Australia, Austria, um, or Saint Leopold III, uh, layman. The Bishop of Altomen of Pasua was born at Milk, Milk, Australia. In 1073. At the age of 23, he became the successor to his father at the military, military governor of Australia called the Margrave. Emperor Henry IV's daughter, Ingress of Wilmlingen, married Leopold in the year 10, 1106. They went on to have 18 children who with only 11 surviving childhood. In 1106 he founded three monasteries. In the year 1125 he was offered to secede his brother-in-law Henry V as emperor but refused. He died at Kalastornaborg Abbot, pictured here and on the next two slides, and went to his heavenly home in the year 1136. He is known for his pity, piety, and charity. Pope Innocent VIII canonized him in 1486. So like I said, these are pictures of the abbey that, um, the most famous abbey that he um, founded. Um, I am not going to say the name again. I am not good at it. Um, but this is pictures from the outside. Um, this one on the right top is where the choir sits. Um, right bottom is in the entryway. And then the right side of the building on the bottom middle, the steeples on the left bottom, and the right side on the top right. Again, um, more pictures of the same abbot. Um, on the top left is the fountain. On the top right is another picture of the outside of the abbot. Um, bottom right is one of the vestments that the priest will wear um, back in the old day. Middle is the ceiling in the chapel and right here on the bottom left is the skull, the relic of Saint um, Leopold III of Austra Austria. Um, his relic is kept um, in view of everybody at the um, who enter into the monastery. He is the Patriot of Patriot Saint of Austra Austria, um, of Lower Austria, of Upper Austria, of Venice, Death of Children, and Large Families. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, O oh God, in your goodness, you raised up for us Saint Leopold, who as a public figure fulfilled his office with responsibilities and vi virtue. When one carries out the duties of one station of life with fairness, justice, and virtue, as did Saint Leopold, Many people are one to a life of faith and virtue. Through his intercession, may we always strive to make a similar contribution to our society. May the Pope stay strong in you as he leads the church. This we ask through Christ our Lord, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. This is the reference page, which also has um, all of the...
and, and resources that I use for my doctor.